In this video, we will learn to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. First of all, this 53, negative 53, is not the special number that it takes to complete the square. So we need to just move it out of the way by adding 53 to both sides. So that will leave us with x squared minus 4x, leave a space right here, equals 53. Now here is where we complete the square. You can complete the square by doing half of the middle and then squaring that. So half of this is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. All right? Negative 2 squared, a negative times a negative is a positive. Now, the most common mistake is to complete the square and then just add that number on the left side, but not the right side. Before we added this 4, we had an equation. This is balanced. The left side and the right side equal each other. If I come in and I put a 4 right here, now the left side has too much. To make them equal again, I need to also add 4 on the right side. All right, forgetting to do this is the most common mistake. So please, watch carefully. Always when you complete the square, add the number on both sides of the equation. Now it's time to factor. The nice thing about completing the square is the factoring will be easy because it has to be the same thing twice. x squared will be x times x. I don't have to worry about whether or not this is going to be 2 times 2 or 1 times 4. It's definitely going to be 2 times 2 because it has to be the same. The sign is going to come from the middle term. All right, if the middle term is negative, then they'll both be negative. The third term is always positive. So just look at the middle. So here I have the same thing twice. So I can write this as x minus 2 squared is equal to 57. Now to unsquare this, I can take the square root of both sides. Now whenever you take the square root of both sides, the solution could be positive or negative, so plus or minus. Recopying gives us x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus radical 57. So I need to get x by itself still. So I will add 2 to both sides. All right, and it goes in the front. So the final answer is x equals 2 plus or minus radical 57. So that is the answer to number 1. All right, same thing on number two. We need to get this number out of here. So I'm going to add 40 on both sides. So that's going to give me v squared plus 6v is equal to 40. So now it is time to complete the square. Half of the middle squared. Half of this is 3. 3 squared is 9, so 9 is what I need. Please do not make the most common mistake and forget to add 9 to both sides. Time to factor. All right, so over here I have 49. This is going to factor as v plus 3 times v plus 3. In other words, v plus 3 squared is equal to 49. I will unsquare this by taking the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. Now this is a perfect square, so be careful. So that gives me v plus 3 is equal to plus or minus 7, because the square root of 49 is 7. Um, now we will subtract 3 from both sides and put it in the front. Okay, so let me just sort of recopy this. So, so far I've got v is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 
7. Now, another common mistake is to think to ourselves, okay, um, negative 3 plus 7 um, is 4, so plus or minus 4. That would be wrong. Negative 3 plus or minus 7 means two different things. It means negative 3 plus 7 or negative 3 minus 7. That's your plus or minus 7 happening. Negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4. Negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10. So the two answers are 4 or negative 10. Not plus or minus 4, not plus or minus 10. So that's it for number 2. Let's do a few more. Take a look at number 3. This negative 99 is not the right number. So let us add 99 to both sides. So that will give us n squared minus 2n, leave a space, is equal to 99. Now let's complete the square. Half of this is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. We need to make sure to add that 1 on both sides to keep the balance. This should factor pretty easily. Um, the sign comes from the middle term, so n minus 1 times n minus 1 is equal to 100. So n minus 1 squared is equal to 100. We will unsquare this by taking the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So that's going to give us n minus 1 is equal to plus or minus, um, wait a minute, square root of 100 is 10. So let's go ahead and just put 10. And let's um, add 1 to both sides. Okay, so I'm just going to recopy this over here. So right now I have n is equal to 1 plus or minus 10. So no, this is not plus or minus 11. This is two separate things. This means 1 plus 10 or 1 minus 10. 1 plus 10 is 11, but 1 minus 10 is not negative 11. It's negative 9. So these are the two answers for number 3. All right, let's take a look at another one. This negative 91 is not the right number. So let's move it over by adding 91 to both sides. So that will give us x squared minus 6x, leave a space, is equal to 91. Now we complete the square. So half of this is 3, well, negative 3. Either way, you square it, you get 9. Make sure you add the 9 to both sides. Okay, now factor this. If you did it right, this should factor as the same thing twice. The sign will come from the middle term. So x minus 3, x minus 3 is equal to 100. Since this is the same thing twice, I can go ahead and write this as x minus 3 squared is equal to 100. And then to unsquare this, I will take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. And that is going to give me x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus 10. All right, and now I will add 3 to both sides. Okay, so that is going to give me x equals, well, you know, I'm going to put it over here. So I've got x equals 3 plus or minus 10. This means 3 plus 10 or 3 minus 10. 3 plus 10 is 13. 3 minus 10 is negative 7.
Okay, let's do two more and then we'll call it a day. All right, well this negative 86 is not the right number. So I'm going to add 86 to both sides to get that out of the way. So now I will have x squared minus 4x, leave a space, is equal to 86. Now, half of the middle squared, half of this is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So I need to add 4 to both sides, both sides. So that's going to give me, um, well, I'm going to factor this now. Over here, I've got 90. This will factor as x minus 2 twice. All right, the sign will come from the middle term. And 2 times 2 is 4, of course. So now I have x minus 2 squared is equal to 90. I will take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. Now, so that's going to give me x minus 2 equals. Um, now, the square root of 90 will simplify because I know it's 9 times 10. So this should be 3 radical 10. Okay, so I've got plus or minus 3 radical 10. So simplify that. And then I'm going to um, add 2 to both sides. So plus 2 and plus 2 right in the front. So my final answer will be x equals 2 plus or minus 3 radical 10. Don't try to add the 2 and the 3 and make 5 radical 10. That would be wrong. All right, let's do one more problem. Let's do number 6. Once again, this 8, this negative 8 is not the right number. So I'm going to move it out of the way. So I have r squared plus 2r leave a space is equal to 8. Now, half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is still 1. So I'm just going to add 1 to both sides. So then when I factor this, of course over here I've got 9. So this will be r and r, 1 times 1, positive, positive. This will factor, um, I can write this as r plus 1 squared since it's the same thing twice. And now it's time to take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So that's going to give me r plus 1 is equal to plus or minus 3. Subtracting the 1 from both sides, put it in the front. And that's going to give me r equals negative 1 plus or minus 3 which means negative 1 plus 3 or negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4.